unboxing a case for the PlayStation Portal. And as you can see here, this is the package that it comes in. So on the top it says H stop PC case for P uh, for P5 Portal Remote Play. Then you can see a picture of how it looks. And then it says installation effect. Okay, so basically it goes from uh, matte to glossy. Then it says here odorless, waterproof, dust proof, and anti-scratch. We're gonna see about that. It says this product does not contain console. Okay, so then on the other side, it says PC case for P5 Portal Remote Play. At the top, it says the same thing. On the other side, same thing. At the bottom, we have anything. At the back, we have another image of how the case uh, will look. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open uh, this case. Okay. okay, so that's basically everything that comes in the box. Here we have the screen protector accessories. Okay, there's nothing else in the box. So it comes with a screen protector tempered glass. We already have one installed, so I won't be needing that. Okay, so here. We have some rubber materials that we can put that we can put on top of the sticks, the joysticks, um, so we can either raise them a little bit or to have more grips. Okay. And then here we have the cover that goes on top on the right side, and then the other one on the left side. Okay. And then this is the whole back part that goes on the portal. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove uh, the plastic. And as you can see here, it has like a pattern design. Okay. So this is like the bottom part. Okay. There you go. All that has been removed. So now. So now let's go ahead and insert the PlayStation Portal. Okay, so now let me grab the portal. Okay, so here I have the portal. So now we're gonna put it inside the case. Okay, very easy. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the top pieces so you can clip everything together. Okay. So we're gonna start with the left side. Okay. And now we're gonna put it on top and it should click out together. And there you go. So just make sure that everything clips in place. Okay, now we're gonna try the right side. So the same thing, we put it on top, and now we make sure that it clips. Okay. Okay, so I'll be right back. Let me make sure that everything clips together. Okay, guys, I am back. So now I make sure that all the clips are holding together. So here on this side, we have three clips. So we had to make sure that they're all attached together. And then the last one on top, you had to make sure you make pressure here on top. And then you're also squishing it at the same time so it can clip. And then on the other side, we have three more clips that you had to make sure they clip. And also on top, we have another clip and it will be the same thing on the other side. So another clip here, then there's three here on this side and then three on the other. So you had to make sure that they all clip. So the case uh, looks really nice on the portal and all buttons are accessible. Nothing is being blocked. We have everything uh, and it is good with the screen protector. And then if you look at the top, okay, so this is how it looks. We have the opening for the volume keys and the speaker and another mic here. And for the link button and the power. 
and the triggers, everything is accessible. And then at the bottom, we have the opening for the charging port and the microphone and the headphone jack. Okay, and then here at the back, we have some uh, grip, as you can see here, for better, you know, so you can grip the device better. Okay, so that's basically how it looks. So I will be providing the link down below in the description. So that's gonna be all for this unboxing for the case for the PlayStation Portal. So that's gonna be all for this video. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click the like button. You can subscribe to my channel so you can get more content. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.